Five things not to do running a small business. The way you structure your business from the beginning can go a long way in determining how efficiently your business will grow and perform in the future. The truth is that, at some point, say five or six years into the business, certain challenges are likely to surface, and depending on some of the decisions you have made in the past, your business might either experience tremendous growth or fall back. Little wonder, a good number of successful entrepreneurs today became successful after one or two failed businesses. Because of the lessons they learned from previous experiences, they were eventually able to make smart decisions that helped their business. To avoid being a victim of these pitfalls, it is paramount to research and understand certain business principles and guides for effective management. In this video, I'll share with you five things not to do running a small business. This, I believe, will help you become a successful person. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. 1. Don't put off record keeping. Starting a business can be tough and it requires a lot of work. Staying up late, working long hours, moments of self-doubt and juggling so many roles all at once within your startup can be very demanding and mentally tasking as a matter of fact. However, ignoring the role of budgeting as well as implementing financial records can do your company more harm than good in the long run. According to a research by Stanford University professor George Foster and Antonio de Villa to measure the impact of early implementation of financial reporting systems while studying 79 startups, they found out that firms that quickly institute formal mechanisms such as operation budgets, cash budgets and financial monitoring systems, tools that measure profitability, customer acquisition costs, variance from actual budget and so forth, had higher growth rates in terms of revenue and headcount. They also had greater and more rapid increases in valuation at successive rounds of venture capital funding. You see, having a good financial record can help you make smart decisions. Instead of relying on your instincts and feelings, it can also help you gain credit. 2. Don't try to do everything yourself. In a bid to cut cost, most startup entrepreneurs tend to run the entire show all by themselves. You know what always happens in the end? They get tired and discouraged and perhaps quit because they lose the initial enthusiasm due to tiredness and exhaustion. The truth is that even if you were perfect and had all the skills necessary to run a business, you still can't run it alone because there is a constraining factor. It's called time. On most days, you'd be lucky to finish up your to-do list and what you plan to get done when you started your day. Learn to delegate and hire people who can take care of certain aspects of the business and also outsource to make the most of your skills and benefits from outside experts. That way, you can devote more time to doing other important aspects of production and also focus more on business development. For instance, you can hire an accountant or a bookkeeper to help you manage your finance and finance records properly. Three. Don't rush into a partnership. Okay, we get it. You don't want to do everything all by yourself, but rushing into a partnership might not be one of the best decisions for your small business, especially if chosen for comfort's sake, for instance, to relieve you of some work stuff. Rushing into a partnership might land you in a poor business relationship that can affect the growth of your business. For all you know, your partner may not even be best qualified for the appointment. When determining to take on a partnership, certain factors need to be considered. You both need to be willing to make the business twice as successful as it will take one person. You both must be willing to share your vision and walk at the same pace. This means that your business partner must be granted full access into the business as much as you have. Be prepared for the worst especially in the case of partners' dispute. It might mean the end of the business. Both partners must be committed to making each other successful. Of course, it might be easy on some days. After all, that's why you both resorted into a partnership to begin with, right? However, 
On some other days, especially when one part no longer shares the same goal or vision, it becomes a challenge to commit to the growth of the business. You see, a partnership takes a lot than most people ever imagine, which is why it is important to consider carefully before rushing into one. You can consider taking a partnership because of their network of contacts, their specialized skills, or their willingness to oversee an aspect of your business that you would rather not touch, and not just because you feel the need to ease yourself off some extra duty. 4. Don't fail to differentiate your business. Every business, irrespective of its business model, industry, and market, must have a unique value to offer. Otherwise, what makes you different from the others? I mean, why should anyone come to you when you can offer the same thing other business would? To find out what differentiates your business, you need to do market research and determine if there is a demand for your product. If there is, it's left to you to find out how best to present your product to the market in a way that shows your unique value. So, even if several businesses with similar products have saturated the market already, then you have a unique product to offer, your business will flourish nonetheless. It can come in the form of your prices, services, or a slight modification of the product. 5. Don't fail to invest in marketing. You know how they say, build it and they will come. Well, I think it's high time we change that to build it and invite them. A good number of business owners do not understand the essence of effective marketing, let alone investing in it. Most people often rely on free marketing, such as referrals and social media marketing. Of course, free marketing can be excellent, but it will take a significant amount of time to become effective. So, you need to create an effective marketing plan if you want your business to be successful. The bottom line is that there are a lot of challenges that business owners are faced with at the start of their business. However, knowing what some of their pitfalls entail can help them prepare against it, giving them better chances at managing their business properly. Summary As a small business owner looking to succeed in your business, be careful not to make these mistakes while running your small startup. Don't put off record keeping. Don't try to do everything yourself. Don't rush into a partnership. Don't fail to invest in marketing. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'll like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.